Hey guys, so you're either watching this video because your GMB was just suspended or you just got your GMB back and you don't want it to be suspended again. These past two weeks or so have been known as the GMB bloodbath, meaning that for no rhyme or reason, people's GMBs have just been suspended. And in this video, what I'm going to do is show you what you need to know so it doesn't happen again, or lessen the chances at least what you need to do with your website and some off-page factors, things off your website, and what to do to lessen your chances of it happening again. So the real frustrating thing is that Google will never say why they suspended your account. And you'll call up and you'll get somebody from another country who will be very polite to you. However, they won't tell you exactly why. Here are just a couple of reasons why they may suspend your account. First of all, if you go in and you change your categories in your GMB listing, or you change your uh, business name to uh, Jones and Jones Law Firm, it used to be Jones and Jones Law Firm, now you named it Jones and Jones Law, Law Firm, uh, DUI Attorneys in Alabama. So if you, you, know, you, you do something like that, right? you put the keyword in and it's not part of your domain name, if you change the address or change, even changing the phone number, or if you didn't have a website before and you put it in a different type of website, like you used to have a Facebook page, now you put it in your actual website, they could suspend you. Uh, if you change ownership or change locations, or if you change uh, service areas, meaning that if you used to show your address and now you, you're not showing your address anymore, you could be up for a suspension. So you may have also have been uh, unlucky enough to chose one of these professions as your business, either a locksmith, HVAC, or a plumber, roofer, or decided to do painting from home, using your home office as a, uh, uh, as a business to do painting, house painting. And uh, Google deems that as a high risk industry, meaning that a lot of people use that for lead gen websites so now they go and suspend your listing because they're not sure and they'll just suspend you. So if you're in one of these industries or you have an industry that works from home, uh, including house painting, accounting, any industry like that, you can get suspended. So there are two types of suspensions. One's called a hard suspension and one is called a soft suspension. A soft suspension is where you still see your knowledge panel to the right-hand side. That's where I have that little Ghostbusters sign over it. You'll still see that. You'll be suspended, but it's a soft suspension. You'll still, you'll still see your knowledge panel. If you put the name of your business into Google, you'll see your knowledge panel on the right-hand side. When you don't see that, that's a hard suspension. And uh, Google... I don't know anybody getting a soft suspension anymore. It appears that almost everybody's getting a hard, meaning that they're not in the three pack anymore. They don't have the uh, knowledge panel and uh, just hard suspensions are just being given out. So if you've been suspended and you wanna know how you could fix your Google listing, go to g.co slash contact GM B. The address is on the bottom of this uh, slide, and I'm also going to put it in the description box below. Here's a couple of things you may or may not need. You may need your business license. Now, if you don't have a business license, you can get one at LegalZoom, Stripe, or Startup, uh, looks like Startups Event. You could get one from one. I'll, once again, I'll put that in the uh, description box below. You'll be able to get uh, a business license from these three places. You'll also, you also may need to show that you have a proof of occupancy. And you, you may need to show utility bills or uh, rental agreements and deeds. You may need to show photos of the business, uh, photos of a sign. So a friend of mine had a law office that was suspended and we came up, uh, we went to Kinko's or Staples, had a little sign made, put it on the door, took a picture of it and that was good, got him back. 
You may also need um, tax ID papers. Um, there are some instances where Google may say, hey, take a video of your location and send it in. So you just need to go to g.co, contact GMB, and when you go to that address, um, they'll get back to you and let you know what, what they want from you. Do not contact them more than once. You're going to go on some type of list and you could get permanently suspended. So once you fill out the form, just leave it alone. I'm telling you, this week, the past two weeks, has been a high number of suspensions. It's probably going to take a week or two before they get back to you. Uh, the phone number doesn't work anymore. The only way that I found out is to go to this website, the Google website, put in your claim and wait for them to get back to you. So sometimes uh, people from Google receive a report and then come to your website. And if they can't prove that it's a real website, you'll definitely be suspended. Your GMB will definitely be suspended. So we're talking about on-page factors, meaning that on your website, this is what you must have. And you could still get suspended with the on-page factors. I'm just saying that sometimes if somebody looks at your website and sees all these factors, you may not get suspended, okay? First of all, your website in the upper left-hand corner where it's in red, it should be secure. Second thing is you should have a local phone number. I would put it nice and big on the upper right-hand corner so Google doesn't have to search for it. I would add my picture to the homepage of my website with my name underneath it right? Uh, I've done probably 10,000 websites in my day. Uh, every owner has no problem taking pictures and putting them on Facebook. When it comes time to put their picture on their website, they don't want to do it. I don't know what it is, but if you don't have a picture on your website, Google can't confirm that this is a real website and you have a better chance of being removed, your, your GMB from being removed. So please get your picture and put it on your website. Next thing, put your social media icons on your website in the footer and make sure they are updated. If you haven't updated your social media in the past year, Google's just going to look at it as a non-active account. That's your Twitter account, your Facebook, LinkedIn, whichever ones you use, update it. And please have a terms of service on your website, a TOS, very important. So let's review off-page factors. Off-page meaning not on your website, on the web, right? Make sure you have a Yelp account. You could still get suspended with a Yelp account. However, Yelp uh, checks to make sure that it's a real business by calling you and trying to tell you sell you their services. Google knows that and they know that you've been phone verified with Yelp. So if you, have, if you don't already have a Yelp account, please get a Yelp account. The other thing is uh, paid directories. You'll notice that like if you're a lawyer, there's uh, something called uh, Avo and Justia. Those are paid directories. Every industry has a paid directory. It's a couple of dollars per year. I would join a couple of paid directories. You are not going to, it's going to be harder to get suspended if you're in several paid directories. It shows that you're a real business. Once again, you're just showing Google you're a real business. If you can, join the local chamber of commerce. Most of the time, it's only $150, $100, wherever. But join the local chamber of commerce if you can. Not, not a must, but it's, it's a good idea. Okay? You want to update your Google My Business with your pictures and pictures of your office. I don't care if you have to sit there and have somebody snap 50 pictures and up, upload them to your Google My Business. Please do that as soon as possible. Take pictures of your office, take pictures of your desk, take pictures of the outside of your office. You want to show Google this is a real business. Now here's, here's something else. 
you could go to uh, there's something called a Google trusted photographer and I had said this in one of my earlier videos if you go to google.com slash street view slash contacts dash tools I'll put the address below in the description box a Google trusted photographer will come to your address and take pictures I need to know how Google will suspend will suspend you if you had one of their photographers on your premise taking pictures unless you violate the terms of service right okay if you start doing some crazy things changing the name and to, to a name that's not yours and adding in DUI law or something like that at the end okay I could understand them suspending you but suspending you because they're not sure if you're a real business you had a photographer come out and take pictures I mean man it's real frustrating this is real frustrating all right the other thing is is do this please put your phone number into Google and make sure that a pizza shop and a shoe store and a law firm hasn't had your phone number in the past 10 years your, your phone number wasn't circulated around where other people have had the same exact phone number so if you purchase a phone number through call fire or call rail try to make sure that that's an original phone number you will get suspended if Google finds out that you you purchased a phone number uh, a call forwarding phone number right they're gonna think it's a scam even though it's not all right another thing is answer all your reviews answer your reviews when somebody does a review on Google for your business answer them and try to use their name hey Alan it was thank you very much for um, for reviewing my business uh, I hope I helped you and so on and so forth don't keep putting the same answer thank you for reviewing our business like make it personalized show that there is a human being answering the reviews it's real important if you get anything from this slide in fact if you get anything from this whole video so far is the Google trusted photographer as long as you don't mess around with the back end they had somebody from Google come out and verify that you're a real business I think that's probably the best tip that I could give get the Google trusted photographer they'll come out they'll take a picture of your business I understand they have a control panel on their end uh, that they tick off I don't know if that's true I heard that that may be true so uh, that's the thing that I would suggest if you've been uh, if you've been uh, suspended a couple of times get the Google trusted photographer and don't mess around with your back end anymore stop changing the name and the categories and the phone numbers stay out of there just upload pictures and do your Google posts all right I got some more stuff for you so here's something I haven't seen anybody talking about when you get a GMB do not let your SEO firm manage your GMB don't make them a manager and I'll tell you why if they're doing some fishy things with other accounts Google shuts down the whole manager account so you may be doing everything right and you give it to a SEO manager who has some uh, spammy accounts and Google is going to look at a couple of the spammy accounts and then they're just gonna suspend everybody in that managers control panel if you don't know what I'm talking about you haven't given anybody access to your GMB if you have I would call that person and see if they're in the control panel all right if they're doing spammy methods everybody is going to go down all right so make sure you're not in anyone's control panel especially if they're doing any kind of spammy methods there is a program called multi login multi login where you're able to control all the uh, GMBs by going in IP addresses and you're not using the same manager account so you may want to do that and another thing uh, you want to make sure also that 
uh, several different IP addresses aren't going into your uh, your GMB account. So one from New York, one from Florida, another one from California, somebody else from the Philippines, and everyone has access to your GMB. All right. Look, there's a lot of things that you got to know here, but I don't make the rules here. I'm, these are just some things that I've found out, and I figured I just want to pass them on to you. But I feel real bad for people who got their uh, account suspended. And then, you know, I'm trying to do some research on the web, and people are going, well, it's really not a big deal. You know, you'll come back in two weeks. Yeah, tell that to the, tell that to the people that I got to pay my mortgage to. You know, I, I need to keep my GMB. I need to keep my GMB, so it's real important. But remember what I said before, I'll say it again real quick. Once you put in a request, don't keep putting in a request because you're going to get deleted permanently. Just do it once. So I really hope this video uh, cleared up a couple of things with you in regards to why you may have got suspended or if you already got your account back, uh, what not to do the next time right so that's why i created it nobody really knows for sure but uh these are just some theories that i have as to why they kind of make sense to me at least so i figured i'd point point them out to you uh if there's something that i could do to help you please feel free to reach out to me uh my email address is brett at gmail if you have any questions please uh list them below in the uh on YouTube in the in the in the uh, questions and answers below because a lot of people have the same questions as you do and while getting a suspension is a tough thing right it's really a tough thing I go back to the thing that I say all the time is listen your family's health is okay right kids are doing good wife's doing good husband or boyfriend is doing good everything's all right we'll work everything else out everything else will be worked out in the future so don't worry about that just make sure you take care of your family as i always say you make sure you give that person that's helping you out give them a good kiss and you know what at the end everything works itself out if there's something i could do to help you feel free to reach out to me uh but remember what i said if you put in that request just put it in once don't put it in more than that and uh have a good day thanks for everything bye